Hello everyone. From the previous session itself, we have been solving the problems which are based on logical group of instructions. Today as well, we are going to continue that trick. So welcome to the session Logical Instructions Solve Problem 2. Without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topic that we are going to cover in this session, just like the previous session, Today as well, we are going to solve a problem on logical group of instructions. Consider the question. Write an 8085 assembly language program that takes data from the memory location X, then multiply this byte, that is the data of one byte which we have just phased from the memory location X, by 4, and then store the result at the memory location Y. So let's try to solve it. Now in the question it is mentioned, we are supposed to take out the data from the memory location X, then we are supposed to multiply this data byte by 4. If you remember, we learnt about the instruction type RLC. And we saw it can be used for performing multiplication by 2. So clearly, executing the instruction RLC will multiply the data within the accumulator by 2, but in this case, we are supposed to multiply the data byte by 4. Now notice, using RLC, the 8085 microprocessor is supposed to rotate the content of the accumulator towards the left. In other words, execution of RLC will shift the contents within the accumulator towards the left by 1 bit. Now what will happen if we execute the RLC 2 times? Well, as I told you earlier, Shifting the bits towards the left one time means multiplication by 2. Therefore, shifting it twice will mean multiplication by 2 into 2, that is 4. So all we have to do is execute the RLC instruction twice. Let's now try and write the program. If you notice, we are supposed to take the data byte from the memory location X. And in order to execute RLC, the data should be inside the accumulator. So we will use the data transfer instruction LDAX. Now the data which was inside the location X has already been loaded into the accumulator. So all we have to do is execute the RLC instruction twice, which will specify that the data has been multiplied by 4. Now after this has been performed, we are also supposed to store the result at the memory location Y. And for that, we are going to use the data transfer instruction STAY. That is, we will store the content of the accumulator, which due to the execution of the RLC instruction twice, has already been changed because we multiplied the data by 4. So the data now, using this instruction, will be stored inside the memory location Y. Now in order to complete the program, in the previous session itself, I told you, we also need to have the instruction HLT, which will specify the microprocessor that this is the endpoint of the program. Now, this is the conceptual program. Let's do this in practical mode. And for that, say we are choosing our memory location where X is 4400. And we are selecting our memory location Y to be 4410. Let's now talk about the input data. Say within the memory location 4400, we will store the input data 6 zeros followed by 1 zero. Now notice, on this data, we will perform RLC. So once the data is loaded inside the accumulator, then if we execute the instruction RLC once, the bit 1 will come to this place. But we are not executing the RLC instruction once. We are executing it twice. So the bit 1 will come to this place. So in the output data, this will be our bit sequence. Isn't it? Now in hexadecimal, can you give me the values of both the input data and the output data? Notice, 0010 is 2 and 40 is 0. So the input data in hexadecimal is 0, 2. On the other hand, 1 triple 0 is 8 and 4 zeros is 0. 
So this is going to be our output data, 0, 8. And that's pretty evident because if you multiply 2 with 4, you are supposed to get the value 8. Correct? So within the memory location, 4400, 0, 0, if we load 0, 2, after the execution of this program, where we definitely will have to update the memory locations X and Y respectively, within the memory location 4410, we are supposed to get the data 08. Let's now execute this program in the emulator. Now, in the previous session itself, we had a detailed walkthrough of this emulator. I encourage you to go through the previous session so that you can operate in this emulator. So as you can notice, within the editor, I already have written down the program for you. This is the input data location, which was specified in the question as X. And this is the output data location, which was specified in the program as Y. Now, like we discussed, at the memory location 4400, we are going to update the input data 02. So let's go to the memory location 4400. So this is our memory location where we will have our input data. Let's now load the data. We are supposed to load 02. So now in the memory location 4400, we have got the data 02. So both our input data and the programs are ready. Let's now assemble and load the program. Now the program has been loaded. All we have to do is run the program. Notice. As expected in the memory location 4410, we have got the multiplied data 08. And since we executed the instruction STA4410H, so the same data is also there within the accumulator. So in this session, we covered the topic Solve Problem on Logical Instructions. We wrote another program. All right, people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we are going to solve another problem which is going to include most of the logical instructions. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.